they are not admitting to their truth they're not seeing what's really hurting inside they're ignoring so much things because they can hide it with so much lies cherishing the little bit that she gives you she gives you the crumbs and you guys are cherishing it she doesn't even give you a full cookie crumbs and you guys are like oh yes let me take these crumbs i feel so special she gave me the crumbs from her cookies it's it's not crazy y'all <laughs> by the title today we are going to be talking about five signs that she is falling for you okay so i'm going to give you guys some signs that you might have already seen some signs that you're probably going to see that shows that she is falling for you okay so make sure you watch until the end i already do say this later on so let me stop okay you guys already know the routine i'm skipping my parts forgetting my lines <laughs> but you guys already know the three really Look at me. I'm just very, I don't know, maybe bubbly today. I don't know what it is. Anyways, as I was saying, you guys already know the routine. Make sure you check out my Patreon. Make sure you check out my second YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed to that, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that after this video. And of course, make sure you check out my social media. And lastly, y'all, uh, if you want to book a consultation with your girl, make sure you go on ahead and head to my email, okay? So, you guys already know the routine. We start from five, go down to one. So that means what? You gotta watch until the end to get the number one thing. So number five on my list is tells you she wants to see you again. And I put in brackets, actions must follow. So a lot of times a female is falling for you. She will want to see you. Now, this is a bigger question. Why is she falling for you, right? Is she falling for you because she just wants somebody for her appointments, you know, her appointments? Is she falling for you because she needs somebody to pay for her bills? Is she falling for you because she's going to end up putting you in the friend zone, right? There's so many questions behind it. Why is she really falling for you? I know a lot of you men are watching this video and thinking, well, I'm thinking she's falling for me because she likes me. No, this is a time where you guys have to figure out what do you offer so much? What has she been taking advantage of? What has she been feeling grateful? Sorry, guys, I'm struggling over here. <laughs> what has she been being grateful for? What has she been appreciating from you? That's where you guys have to figure out because then you start realizing why certain things are happening. So with number five, when she's falling for you and she wants to see you again, there's so many different things it can fall into. What category it can be, right? It can fall into all these things that I listed. So for you now, it's a lady, a woman, a girl will fall for you for different reasons. When she falls for you and wants to see you consistently, you guys, remember this. Even if it's for all these different reasons that I mentioned, plus more, it doesn't matter. Because that's where you guys have the hook. That's what happens. When you didn't do much, but you threw your hook on her side and she got caught to the hook and now she's trying to see you. You're not even pulling in. That's when you guys are winning. That's when you guys are having a woman fall for you. Now, I know a lot of guys over here want the wrong woman falling for them. Just And I say that just because of the fact that these girls aren't good for you, right? But I can't help who you guys love. Love whoever you want to love. I can only give you some words of wisdom, right? You want to catch that fish? Do not pull. Do not pull it in. Let her come with herself somehow she has to figure out how to get out that water and come to you fisherman right it doesn't matter what she actually wants from you what she's falling for but remember you can determine how the outcome can be and that's from what you decide to do simply with that example i just gave you guys the whole don't pull in that right there could have been a different twist if you pulled in and you made her come to you and you were trying to force everything right so even if she's falling for you last thing i'll say falling for you for a different type of reason you still have the advantage because you still aren't putting effort in hopefully you're not and she's falling for whatever it is that you have okay and it doesn't have to be your personality it doesn't have to be your looks but whatever it is she's falling for it and you guys are still winning remember that okay 
So let's move on to number four on my list, and this is makes time for you. And I put brackets. This is possibly this is when you guys are kind of like deep in it, or you guys been on and off. I don't know, and now you're trying to figure it out. And this is cancel plans for you. Cancel plans is literally the bigger stuff. But let's start with when she makes plans for you. Okay. So you guys understand, men, fellas my boys, my brothers, whoever is watching, when a woman starts making time for you, understand, women feel like their time is so valuable. They feel like their time is more valuable than men because they have so much men. They have so much validation. They have so much attention already given. So you know how much it's going to take a woman to say, let me give this man five minutes of my time. You know how much that's going to take? Even two minutes if you get lucky. You get a high end buy. It's obviously because of their ego, but it's all the stuff that's around them that create a woman to be built like this even more or just more, right? So for a lot of women, they get to this place of, oh, I don't have to give him my time. He's going to waste my time. And you probably see the girls that talked about, oh, he wasted my time. He wasted my time. And I know there's a lot of times where girls really deal with messed up guys that treat them really like garbage. And that's a whole nother story. I'm not going to talk about that because there's, there's so much more to that, right? So anyways, as I'm saying that there's a lot of girls out here that really, really value their time way too much to the point where they will not be willing to give any man or a man their time. And I don't even want to just say any man because I can't say any man because there's a lot of men out here that women will just say they're any man because their expectations are so so high so as I'm saying right now there's a lot of girls out here that won't give their time out and they feel like because their time is so valuable but that's because of all the attention that they're already receiving okay so now when she gets to the point of giving your time it can start off with she's giving you a chance that's how she may be looking at it okay this is your opportunity and you know some guys may blow it and some guys may not whatever happens happens but when you get that time from that girl it's your chance to really not act like oh i earned this no because the time that you're giving from women you have to remember if she gave that to all these other guys out here gave it to another simp or a simp they're gonna act that way and that's the part where you guys have to start doing what these other men aren't doing and that's literally cherishing the little bit that she gives you she gives you the crumbs and you guys are cherishing it she doesn't even give you a full cookie crumbs and you guys are like oh yes let me take these crumbs i feel so special she gave me the crumbs from her cookies it's, it's not crazy y'all oh my goodness so when you get this time for the woman okay yeah you guys may want to say yeah she's falling for me yeah it's all nice all this stuff is nice lovely yeah but the bigger problem is you guys are really waiting for this you guys are really waiting for her to give you the time you guys are wanting it so bad y'all don't want success that bad y'all don't want to be at the top of your game like that now i'm not going to talk too deeply about that because eventually i want to just do a video going all out about this stuff about y'all need to get it right in here with what's important really in your life okay so to wrap up that one you get that time it's nothing it's light it's okay yeah you gave me the time okay nice okay because that's how she's looking at it well yeah you're a guy i'm talking to and you got my time what can you do for me right if she does cancel plans for you guys that is a big step for men you can say because a lot of women will not do that like she really has to be falling for you because then that's a whole nother step of saying the person that she's canceling plans on they're not as valuable as you and what starts off is you don't really have as much value as you should for how valuable you are with a lot of these women so now when they start seeing the real value in you they will obviously look at others and say okay well he's more important I'd rather go chill with him. Yeah, I made plans with you, but now I got to cancel that. You get what I'm saying with that? So, yeah, as you guys grow, things start changing. And it sucks that it even started that bad. And now you guys are at this point. But that's just how it works with a lot of females. So, you'll notice later on, they start canceling plans for you. And all of a sudden, they seem like they're into you. And they are. But, you know, sometimes it could be because 
maybe you're making more this month you know maybe you went to the gym and got bigger could be for those different reasons okay so let's move on to the next thing on my list and this is brings or buys you food more than a few times now some people will dust this off some people will be like oh that's silly that's just jokes whatever no it's very very serious <laughs> because look look at the world that we live in women feel like men are supposed to spend money on them it's all about men spending money on them back to hypergamy right so because of this what's happening right now is for a woman to even spend a dime on a man she has to give a damn about that man that's how it is it's like the little bit that she has to take out and do for another man is tough because they expect that just from a man they don't think they have to give that and it goes right back to what are women bringing to the table and nowadays it's nothing it's tragic but it's nothing so now when a woman goes out of her way and actually buys you something or gets you something before her appointment with you or you know whatever you guys are doing she gets you something it shows a lot of how much she rocks with you and like i said although it might be you guys are becoming close friends it might be that remember it all starts somewhere and it gets somewhere if you want it to be where you're working you're building and you guys eventually get to that place then so be it because a lot of guys will just tolerate whatever she's doing so be it it could be that way but i'm just saying sometimes when it's just moving that slow when things are like oh wow it took her like six months for her to buy me food when i've been buying her food since the day i met her it's like sometimes you just gotta give up y'all like it's not even worth it sometimes it's not worth it your pockets are crying like yo don't spend no more money on her don't spend me on her you guys come on save yourself the next thing on my list is number two number two is opens up now i mentioned this i swear like only once or twice like not that many times and it's crazy to me that i haven't mentioned it that many times because it's so so important for me just being the person i am where i feel like i connect to people so i feel like i talk to people for their heart not for their image you feel me so it's like this is very important and a touchy subject for me right and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit, just slight, but I'll probably do a whole video about this. But basically, the whole idea of a woman opening up is a big sign of her falling for you. Because although it's not that big of a deal for a man to do it, because a lot of men nowadays don't even want to be vulnerable with a woman, it's still a lot for a woman. Because nowadays, women are stepping into meeting a man and wanting what they can get, right? They don't want to see what's the next steps of okay let me get to know you on a deeper level let me see what you're all about let me see what beautiful family you have and where you came from they don't want to see all that right so now because that's starting to happen for these women now it's literally okay well come come to my life give me this um skip the talking i don't want to talk i don't want to get to know you you know and so when you guys and this is nice when a guy know when a guy and a woman can sit down and literally talk and literally have a grown talk and literally open up and just express themselves to each other you guys know that's so rare to happen but that's what i'm talking about and now a woman can get to a place of actually breaking her own walls down now a woman can get to a place of being vulnerable and that's what a lot of guys need to be able to reach because a lot of times guys are just so focused on pleasing and instead of trying to reach what's in here which is what's going to touch her the most guys are saying oh well forget it and although it's hard and i know it's 100 percent hard that's why i tell you guys just walk away because it's not even worth it i'm just saying you can't keep doing things you know you have to just say i quit like i'm not doing it no more so when a woman actually gets to a point of actually opening up to you when she feels ready to do that when she actually does that then it just shows how much she's grown that love for you she's actually at a place of wanting to let you into her world they are not admitting to their truth they're not seeing what's really hurting inside they're ignoring so much things because they can hide it with so much lies so for them when a man can see that when they let a man see that it's a different spot for them you know it's like allowing somebody to see all your insecurities and feeling okay with that because you know they accept you for who you are right so i want to talk deeply about it but I'm not going to do that in this video just because it's going to take me forever to say all the stuff that I have on my mind. <laughs> so let's move on to the last thing on my list. And this is keeps a lot of things between you two. Now, this is so, so, so very, very important, y'all. 
a woman that can keep things just between you you have to first understand the way how women live right now their life is too involved with other women starting from what they see on tv now moving on to their best friend now moving on to the lifestyle of turning up with other females all women's lifestyles are revolved around other women the sad part it's not revolved for empowerment because of that now when a woman meets a man and talks to them about personal stuff even to the step of opening up now what you told her she's gonna run back to her best friend and it literally does reach a matureness where it could have you have that hold on you where you don't open your mouth yeah takes that much but it also takes that you trust that man and that man trusts you and you guys live up to that so a lot of women when they actually get to the point of not spilling the beans not saying what you told her because you were being vulnerable and you were opening up to her best friend is a different type of place and it's a place of she's falling for you now some men may not know oh did she go tell that person i don't know but what i can tell you guys for sure is that girls sometimes you know it's confusing but you have to remember like see the people that she deals with how she acts around that acts around those girls see how she acts around those girls see what she's doing and she's still turning up after she told you that's not the type of lifestyle that she likes but she's changing that right all this stuff that you have to see you have to observe all this stuff so you can understand why or if things are actually falling into place you get what i'm saying if it's not then why isn't it and you'll see because she's turning up still. You'll see because her and her best friend are on Snapchat always laughing. And you know your business got told to her. You know it, right? Or it could be the other way where she's being respectful now. She's actually cherishing the type of bond you guys built, you know? So I really have so much to say, you guys. It's crazy. Make sure you drop down if you want to see a part two. And of course, what other videos you would like to see. And yes, I'll talk so much more in my next video because this is pretty long. And so, you guys, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on my social media. Make sure you check out my Patreon. And of course, you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, guys.